Hello everybody. Um, today we're going to talk about a segue step off shot. Now you see here my uh, segue. This is my package. Uh, basically you get off-road tires, you have turf tires, and you have the, the tires that are mounted on it right there which are the uh, road tires. So different situations allow you to do different things but it's hands-free so you control it with your knees and you can hard mount it on the uh, attachment on the left as you'll see me do here with the Alexa. So you can see the arm is actually attached to the Segway, and there, therefore the uh, actual Segway carries the weight of the camera. So therefore taking the burden off of the operator and um, you know extending your endurance quite a bit. Depending on the application, it could be a, a big uh, advantage. So you see here another view of the Alexa on a uh, on the Segway. You can see I'm using the off-road tires in this case. We're doing an off-road shot. Um, at night and um, here you see the same setup but this is 3D it's also the major reason why I own the Segway package um, because the rigs are 80 pounds 75 pounds so the uh, Segway carries the weight allowing me to operate for a long period of time here is the uh, 3D rig with Epix it's a uh, Atom rig made by uh, 3 Technica and uh, it is in low mode um, but yeah, so therefore I can operate 3D for a, a long period of time, long walk and talks. And so, uh, but today, really, oh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit uh, about the step-off shot. Here we go. Arriving on set, the uh, GoPro is actually mounted on the Segway itself in this case. Um, this is a set of a movie I was working on earlier this year. But um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do a, a step off shot, which essentially, when you have the segue, you can hard mount it, or you can still mount it on your vest, um, which lets you do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, part of that is stepping off the segue mid shot. Now you know why would you want to do that? Well, there's lots of reasons. Um, you could carry a shot into a house, for example, and in this case, we're chasing a, a woman down a, a road and uh, she stops and she runs into a forest. So there would be no room to ride the Segway into the forest, therefore I'm stepping off of it. So what we're gonna see next is a clip of rehearsal, which is you know pretty important in the shot, was gonna be at night. So um, I wanted to run through it during the day because it's a winding road, I had a curb to my left, the actress was gonna be to my right. So, and, um, so I had a pretty tight tolerance on where I needed to be. I wanted to get an idea for pacing and um, sort of run through the step off with the uh, grips and actually make my way through the forest and figure out what the problems would be and you know it's it's a very important part it's, it's important for safety you know if I had clipped the the curb there that existed there you know uh, it would have been all over you know camera on the ground the whole deal disaster but um, you know it's it's very important not to be overlooked you know when you're doing something as tricky as this I uh, highly recommend you uh, doing a rehearsal, even on your own time, like we did here. You know, this was before call, essentially. So I'm going about half speed. The camera's mounted on my monitor, and this is me running up the road. And you'll see me slow down here. And there's the, uh, in this case, it's the AC, but he's going to grab the Segway when I step off, and I just stepped off. We're walking, keep going. And we're walking. And this is when I follow the actress into the forest. <laughs> you can see okay. it's a That's pretty enough. thick bush. And we're trying to figure out which branches we're going to have to cut. And that's exactly why we do rehearsal, you know. I want you to cut and um, yeah. identifying yeah. which branches we're going to cut. And, you know, the shot carries down farther down. But you can see how I couldn't, I couldn't ride the Segway into that thick brush. But uh, this is the actual shot itself. This is a, the cameras mounted on the Segway. And you see the actress there. You see the condor light that I'm having a frame out of my shot. So there's a lot going on. And this is about where I step off. So I wish I could show you more, but I can't. <laughs> um, movie's been unreleased, so I've probably shown too much already. But uh, in any case, you notice I picked a point where she slows down and stops for a second for the step off. So it's always a good uh, point to try to hide your step off point. Um, and I actually slowed to a stop before I stepped off. But 
you know, as people have seen on the internet, you can you can do step offs while on the move. So here's another shot um, later on in the movie in a warehouse. Notice we had the luxury of the uh, first AC also being on a Segway um, to follow me. So we're going to do a tracking shot here of the actress running. The Segway goes up to 12 miles an hour, so you can actually get a pretty good run out of it. And that's the end here. This is director and DP waiting for the end of the shot. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick look at uh, actual production use of a Segway and a Steadicam. But I uh, just want to point out that my uh, Segway kit is available for rental uh, to other Steadicam operators. Um, as you can see in the previous picture, all the pieces it comes with, it also comes with a hitch mount so that you can attach it to your car. It does fit inside the car. And uh, it is also ready to ship. There is a, I have a case for it that rolls right into it. There's a plug so you can leave it plugged in overnight to charge. And uh, it just closes up and it's ready to ship FedEx Freight. Um, so you do have to drive it to the drop-off FedEx location, but it can ship uh, worldwide, every, anywhere you need it. So uh, contact me at uh, pgfilms.tv for more information.